Hello, Assalamu alaikum and very good morning from Lahore, Pakistan. I'm Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As we're discussing thanatology and in thanatology, we are uh, heading towards the put infection, the third stage, the stage three of put infection. And the learning objective of this lecture will be that we'll discuss the stage three. And in stage three, we know that there is softening and liquefaction of the uh, whole body, there is bursting of the cavities, complete skeletonization, and decomposition of the bone. So these are the learning objective of the uh, stage three. And then uh, the learning objective will be that we'll discuss the putrefaction in the internal organs. And we will discuss that these organs which are soft and which are rich in a, a blood supply, they putrefy early. And the organs which are hard and they are uh, less in blood supply, have less blood supply, they putrefy late. Then we'll discuss the prostate and ovaries. They are last to putrefy, but the gravid uterus is first to putrefy. So starting with the stage three of putrefaction, it basically will result in the uh, body tissue. They gradually undergo softening and liquefaction. And the cavities, they burst in three to four weeks roughly, approximately, but it, the process varies depending upon the various factors. But the rate at which the organs undergo this depends upon the amount of muscle and the fibrous tissues in it. Then skeletonization is approximately in one to three months. And decomposition of the bones in uncomfort, it is about in one year, in comfort it is three years, and complete uh, destruction is approximately in 25 years. So the putrefaction of internal organs, it starts with external putrefaction. That means that the external signs and process of putrefaction, which is visible outside, simultaneously the process of putrefaction is going on on the internal organs also. And the organs which are soft, having more blood supply, they putrefy early. But the organs which are hard, having less blood supply, will putrefy late. So internally, the undersurface of the liver, due to close contact with the fluid contents of the bacterial content of the bowel, and blood is hemolyzed, and the hemoglobin is liberated. So undersurface of the liver will be first uh, going to where it is going to start putrefaction in the solid organs because it is close to the bar. Bacteria predominant in the clostridium velchi, which produces hydrogen sulfide, it combines with the hemoglobin and self-met hemoglobin is formed and this is the uh, responsible for the greenish discoloration and this then suppresses to the whole body within the next 48 hours. And this greenish discoloration, when it spreads to the body, both internally as well as externally. And the sequence or the order in which the internal organs undergo putrefaction, it is roughly, it, is, it has been seen that the stomach and the liver, blood and heart, blood, it is first to putrefy. Then the trachea, bronchi, lungs, larynx and liver then the brain and the spinal cord, heart, kidneys, bladder, and diaphragm in the next order. Involuntary muscles then, and then the prostate and the testes, uterus and the ovaries. So the prostate and testes and ovaries, usually the prostate and ovaries, they are last to putrefy in the solid organs. But Gravid uterus is first to putrefy. So summary of this third stage of uh, putrefaction is that we have learned that in this third stage of putrefaction, there is softening and liquefaction, bursting of the cavities, complete skeletalization, which is uh, in one to three months, and then complete destruction of the bones in 25 years. And decomposition of bone is completed in 25 years. Then we have learned that the putrefaction of internal organs, the organs which are soft and abundant in blood supply, they putrefy first, and the organs which are hard and less blood supply, they are 
the forty five uh, in the last. So the prostate and ovaries they are last to forty five, but the gravid uterus is first to forty five because it is having abundant blood supply and blood is as the source of fortification. So thank you very much. This is all about the stage three of the fortification. And in the next lecture, we'll continue with the factors which are responsible for change in the process of putrefaction. And in the link below uh, description, there is a link given for the all the lectures of the uh, thanatology. And if you like my videos, please share with others. And it is as sakajarya for the rest of the students and the doctors and other uh, people. Thank you very much. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Assalamualaikum. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and my channel name is Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar. Thank you very much.